All right. One thing I want to look at um, as far as graphs go is what's called line graphs. Now, here's the uh, the types of things that we can we can think of. Now, when we did our traveling, we were trying to travel and hit every vertex, okay? And we were trying to create, you know, paths through every vertex. But we could have traveled through every edge instead, all right? Or if we were coloring, we could have colored edges instead of vert vertices, okay? So we could have reversed those kind of problems and talked about edges instead of reverse instead of vertices. And line graphs are kind of similar to that. And I want to get the idea of the nature of how these these vertices and lines can, or excuse me, vertices and edges can sort of take on different roles. All right. So we can kind of reverse the roles uh, of the edges and vertices. Okay. And this reverse graph is, is known as the line graph. Now, I'm kind of playing loose when I say reverse the roles, okay? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take each edge and we're going to call it, you know, E1, E2, E3, whatever. And in our original graph. And then we're going to make a new graph where each edge is replaced by a vertex. And the vertex is going to be connected to some other verte vertices if the edges in our original graph were, were connected through a vertex in our original graph. Now, again, it's easier once, once you see it done, but I will, do want to say the line graph is gen denoted L of G, the line graph of graph G. So here we're going to take an example. Let's take an example that we had at the beginning. Here we have four vertices. So here's our graph. And we're going to create a line graph from that's associated with this graph. Line graph. So, so our original line, I mean, our original graph is on the left, and the line graph that we're going to create is on the right. Okay. Now, anytime you start with the the graph, you start with labeling the edges E1, E2, and it doesn't matter how we label E3, E4, because, like I said, graphs you can kind of play and manipulate with and redraw. So here's what you do: you take Your line graph. In fact, let me let me do this in a different color. Line graph. I'll put that as in green. So we're gonna put the line graph of G in green, just so we can highlight the difference here. So what we're gonna do is every edge, we're gonna pretend it's a vertice. So E1 becomes that vertex. E2 becomes that vertex. E3 becomes that vertex, and E4 becomes that vertex. Okay, so here's what we do. Edge 1, all right, we ask ourselves, should I connect it to edge 2? Should I, in this line graph, should I connect these? And the way you do that is to say, is edge 1 and edge 2, do they share a vertex? Well, yeah, if I look here, edge 1 and edge 2 come into contact in this vertex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect them. All right. And then I do the same thing with edge 1 and edge 3. Well, edge 1 is here. Edge 3 is here. Notice they don't come in contact in a vertex. So I do not connect edge 1 and edge 3 over here. Edge 1 and edge 4, yeah, they share a vertex. They come in contact, so I connect them over here. All right. 
And then I go back and do the same thing for every single other edge. You say edge 2. Well, it contacts edge 1, contacts edge 4. It turns out it contacts edge 3 as well. So edge 2 contacts everything. Edge 3. Edge. Oop. Do an edge. 3. Edge 2 contacts edge 4. And then I go through and I say, okay, so I've got edge 1 and edge 2. Edge 3. Edge 3 contacts edge 2. Edge 3 contacts edge 4 in my original graph. So edge 3 should contact edge 2. I've already got that line. Edge 3 contacts edge 4. I've already got that line. Or so we don't have our, let's draw it. And there you go. Okay. So we started with this, and by the way, you do the same thing for edge 4. Edge 4 is already connected to edge 1. Edge 4 is connected to edge 3. Edge 4 is connected to edge 2, you know, based on these two vertices. Okay. So there you go. That's how to draw the line graph. Now, I want you to notice something about this. There, there's a couple of uh, similarities that you will see, on, or excuse me, a couple of takes from these things you'll see. All right. Um, first thing, the graphs do not are not the same. Okay, these are clearly not the same. This graph has four edges. Over here, we have five edges. So clearly not the same graph. Okay. So the line graph is not going to be the same as the original, in general. I mean, there, there may be an occasion where there is, but in general, it is not going to be the same. Also, all right, since every vertex was connected over here, every vertex, which is, you know, our old edges, are connected over here. In other words, there's always a path. So... If my original G is connected, my line graph will also be connected. All right. And there are some other things that we can pick up um, too. So, for instance, you know the we had <clears throat> an edge two, which was connected to everything over here. So edge two, you know, connected to everything over here. This. There's a lot of uh, little things you can, you can pick up. The degree of one of these vertices, so here we had a degree of a vertex of, uh, of 3, and over here we had this triangle, which sort of corresponds to the degree 3 vertex over here, okay, between edge 1, edge 2, and edge 4. So anyway, there's there's a lot of uh, things you can you can pick out of that, but I'm not going to pick out too much more than what I have already. All right, so I want you to take another example. I want you to push pause on the video. I'm going to take a, a, a graph. Okay, and I want you to find the line graph of this original. Push pause on the video and then come back and find it. All right, so hopefully um, you, you've got that. Um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to call this one edge 1, edge 2, edge 3, edge 4, edge 5. Now, by the way, when you draw the line graph, I tend to write out all of the all of the um, vertices of the line graph basically in a great big circle. You don't have to do it this way, but I tend to, I'm not one who visually sees immediately how this is going to turn out. So I draw it in a big circle and I just label all of my edges. Oops, that's two. Edge three, edge four, edge five. 
and realize that if you labeled things slightly different than I did, you'll get the exact same line graph, just kind of slightly moved around and, and played with. All right, so what I see is edge 1 is connected to edge 2 and 3. So edge 2 and 3. I see edge 2 is connected to edge 1 and 3. 1's already there, 3. All right, now edge 3 is connected to 1 and 2. We already got those. Edge 3 is also connected to 4 and 5. Now edge 4 is connected to 3. It's also connected to 5, so I get that. Edge 5 is connected to 4 and 3. We already have that. So there you go. So what what we have is that the edge graph, I mean the, the line graph of G, if this is my G, line graph looks like that. Basically two tri triangles connected in an edge almost. All right, triangular shapes. Um, or two C3s connected at an edge. By the way, notice something about uh, graphs and line graphs is that here we had these nice cycles. Here we did not have anything like that. We never came back and rounded on it. So um, you don't always get uh, a nice one-to-one -one correlation with a graph and a line graph. Let's take this example. Take a graph of, uh, let me think, let's take the, following, Okay, so here we have uh, five vertices. I want you to draw the line graph of that graph. Again, push pause on the video and, and finish and, and do it and then come back. All right, so hopefully you've done this. E1, E2. Now, I'm purposely labeling those these in kind of a way that you wouldn't have uh, seen before or that you might not have thought of, and that's on purpose because I want you to know that, you know, even while your line graph may look different than mine, they're going to be the, the, the same. They're going to have the same properties, okay? So take five points, one, five vertices, two, three, four, five vertices. We'll call that one E1, E2, E3, E4, E5. So one is connected to two and four, two, four, all right. 2 is connected to 1, 3, and 4. Um, 3 is connected to 2, 3, wait, excuse me, edge 3 is connected to 2, 4, And five. Edge four is connected to edge five. Edge one. Two. Okay. So I think edge five is connected to three and four, and that's good. So I think this is what I get. All right, and if I missed one, let me know. But this is what I think we're going to get, line graph. I'll just double-check this over here. All right, edge 1 connected to 2 and 4. 
two, four. Edge two connected to one, four, three. Edge two connected to one, four, three. All right, that's good. Edge three is connected to two, four, and five. Two, four, five. Edge four is connected to one, two, three, four, four itself, five. So one, two, three, and five. And edge five is connected to three and four. Three, four. Good. All right, so that's the line graph for this graph. Now, there's all kinds of other things we could do, lots of other examples. We could talk about line graphs of graphs which aren't connected. And it turns out if they're not connected, then the line graphs won't be connected. But uh, I won't get into that right now. So this is the, uh, the idea of line graphs. It's basically you take every single edge and you turn it into a point. And by the way, this allows us to do, to do some things. All right. If we're trying to figure out, instead of a, uh, excuse me, we, talk, we talked about earlier being able to go from vertex to vertex, hit all the vertices, and get to my destination. Well, instead of hitting all the vertices, maybe I would have wanted to hit all the edges and get to a destination. And if we translate our graph into a line graph, then we are talking about, you know, hitting all the edges is a way to hit all the vertices in the line graph. Okay, so we can kind of go back and forth between talking about edges and vertices by going back and forth to talk about graphs and line graphs. Now it's not perfect, but uh, but that is that is one way to do it. All right.